Hello, Software Guy here with a new video. Today, we're going to talk about a feature built into Windows called QoS, or Quality of Service, and how you can use it to potentially reduce latency, jitter, and even packet loss in online games by prioritizing your game traffic over everything else. Now, this isn't a magic fix, and your results will depend on your system, network, and router setup. But this method worked for me and others, so it's definitely worth a try if you want more stable performance during online matches. Let's get into it. Before we dive into the actual prioritization, we need to make sure that the QoS Packet Scheduler is enabled on your network adapter. Click on your Windows search bar and type Network Connections. Open the result that says View Network Connections. Find the connection you're currently using. For most people, it'll either be Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Wired, right-click on the one you're using and choose Properties. In the list, make sure QoS Packet Scheduler is checked. Click OK and close out. This is required so that Windows policies can actually prioritize packets based on the values we set later. This part is for Windows 10 11 Pro users or anyone who has access to the Group Policy Editor. Press your search bar and type gpedit.msc. Open Local Group Policy Editor. Navigate to Computer Configuration, Windows Settings, Policy-Based QoS. Right-click on Policy-Based QoS and select Create New Policy. Now, you can name this policy anything you like. Let's say we're prioritizing GameX. Call it GameX Priority. In the next step, enable DSCP value and set it to 46. This is a high priority value used to tell Windows this traffic is more important than others. Click Next and choose Only Applications with this executable name. Here, type in the executable file name of your game. Like, let's say for Fortnite, it would be something like Fortnite Client Win 64, shipping.exe. Click Next, then on the protocol screen, choose both TCP and UDP, since games often use both. Click Finish, and that's it. You can repeat this process for other games like Valorant, Valorant Win 64 Shipping.exe, or Call of Duty COD.exe, just by creating new policies with their executable names. Once you've added your games, restart your PC to make sure everything takes effect. If you're using Windows Home and don't have access to Group Policy Editor, don't worry, we can do the same thing using the Registry Editor. I'll leave a registry file in the description that you can download and edit. Here's what to do. Download the .reg file, right-click it, and choose Edit. You'll see a field like this, AppPath equals .exe, change.exe. To the name of the game's executable, you want to prioritize just like in the earlier step. Save the file. Double-click the .reg file to apply it. Press Yes to confirm, then restart your PC. If you want to add multiple games, duplicate the file and change the name of the policy so it doesn't overwrite the executable path for each new game. You can check that it worked by typing regedit in your start menu, navigating to the key, and making sure the changes appear under the correct path. Once everything's set up and your PC is restarted, go ahead and launch your game. You might not see a massive difference right away, but if your system was fighting for bandwidth with background tasks, like Windows updates or browser tabs, you could notice less stutter, more consistent ping, and fewer lag spikes. If this helped you, consider leaving a like and subscribing for more practical tweaks and software tips like this. Also, let me know in the comments, did this improve your game's connection? What router or setup are you using? And if it didn't work for you, that's okay too. It's always good to experiment and figure out what works best on your setup. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.